Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do your weekly read. This is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius from the 22nd to the 28th. Or because time is linear and the date is irrelevant, whenever you come across it is when you're meant to see it. This is little Delilah. She's our little spirit guide and mascot here on the channel. And she just lays here sleeping and looking so extremely cute, it's ridiculous. All right, guys, please be mindful of two situations, right? Situation one, if anybody on any platform ever on the internet or so on the social platform anywhere contacts you inquiring about money, please don't send it to them. They're probably trying to rob you. Street Smarts 101, right? If you want to get in touch with me, my information is in the box below on how to do that. I will never reach out, but I was not raised to be rude, so I will respond. The second situation are these buttons and these bells. So if you can find it in your heart to ring my bell and hit my button, please subscribe, please like. It's fun, it's free, it's entertainment purposes only. And Delilah and I will thank you very profusely ahead of time. We do read reversals and we are gender neutral. So by the way, in case no one told you today, Sagittarius, Delilah and I love you. So here we go. It is with an attitude of gratitude. I would humbly like to thank Source. <sighs> the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of the collective of Sagittarius. So, hey, it's Sag. Here we go. Okay. Let's see what we have. So, this one hit first. This one hit second. What are we doing with the reversal, Sagittarius? Let me just make sure we're in the upright. Okay, well, here we go. So, you got a two of cups in reverse. Starting out, your energy is, you're a little, you know, you're off balance. Maybe you're a little withdrawn. Maybe you, there's some kind of distrust or tension between you and somebody. Some kind of harmony, uh, you know, lack of harmony. You also have the lovers in reverse. Gemini energy. Um, you know, uh, this could be, like I said, disharmony, trust issues, imbalance, conflict detachment. So obviously you're having relationship issues here. Okay. At the foundation, the shadow side. So this is the devil. The devil in reverse talks about detachment, independence, freedom, overcoming addictions, um, maybe reclaiming one's power and releasing oneself from, from any kind of restricting, um, you know, energies, any kind of uh, manipulation, codependent relationships, things like that. You also have a two of wands in reverse. Two of wands in reverse talks about some kind of bad planning or maybe, you know, fear of the unknown, um, trying to avoid some kind of uh, conflict or something like that, okay? It's going to be different for everybody. Now, hold on a second. Let's get the bottom row out and we'll get this going. That's the cat in the background beating the hell out of the rug. Okay, so in the... Okay, so crowning you, I told you, you have the two of wands, avoiding conflict or whatever it is that you're doing here, uh, not planning very well, maybe, you know, fear of the unknown, but you are deciding to transition over to calmer waters. Six of Swords talks about sorrow and transition, but you don't always have to be sorrowful when you're transitioning. You could just be full, you know, sick of somebody's bullshit and all the aggravation and tension, i.e. this, this murky water over here that's all like, you know, and moving over to a calmer place where there's no drama. Maybe you're just sick of someone's drama. You had it, right? The relationship is going downhill, obviously. Could have been because there's some, you know, toxic behaviors that even though they're being released, you know, codependency or whatever, enough is enough is enough, right? This is what I'm hearing. Now, you got a six of wands. You're the, you're, you know what? You're moving over to calm waters for victory, okay? Six of wands talks about victory, good news, success. So this is what you want. You want a successful, happy relationship. Something where there's not some drama and all kinds of craziness going on. What's at the foundation, please? Show me the foundation. What is the foundation of this situation? Okay. Yeah. The moon. Yeah, maybe secrets, lies, things being told, things being done in the de in the dark that you don't see. You know, anything in the shadows, lying, cheating, manipulation. Even though it looks like it might be being released here, sometimes when the damage is done, too much water under the bridge, you know, it's a little gnat, but we don't kill bugs. We don't really kill anything because, yeah. <clears throat> I don't care if it's a gnat or not. It's got the right to be here just as much as I do, right? <laughs> Fool away anyway. If anything's going to kill a bug run, it's going to be a cat. Let him live with that karma, not me. Okay, so now, you know, 
Spirit's advising you here to take a new leap of faith. Leave this shit behind you because that's what it is. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. And uh, there's too much you don't know anyway. Secrets being told, whatever's going on here. Take this new leap of faith, Aries energy. It doesn't matter if you jump to the left, to the right, whichever way you jump. Trust that God's got you. The universe has got you. You could grow wings on the way down. Can't be any worse off than you are now. What's the most likely outcome for this, please? And thank you. All right. We have the five of swords. So, you know, there could be some aggression around you. There could be some quarreling. There could be, uh, you know, people disagreeing, tension, conflict, disappointment. And this is why you're deciding to move away from all this. I mean, who needs this? Nobody's got time for this, right? Yeah, look, detaching. I'm detaching from this with the Eight of Cups. They've had it. Take your Eight of Cups. Do whatever the hell you want with them. I don't want nothing to do with them no more because I know that there's a Ninth and a Tenth Cup out there and I'm going to find it. So... You know, later for your ass. That's how that's going, right? Now, show me. What's going on with this Two of Cups? This rescinded offer of emotion here. Show me. What's going on? Please and thank you, Sagittarius. Give it to me. All right, we'll take it. You do have a Ten of one. Well, burdens are being released, you know, released. And the, the reason why is because you're letting it go. This is like a this is like a big burden here. So now with the ten of wands in reverse, now we're talking. You know, the burdens are being released. Um, this, the responsibilities are being lifted. So you know that's that's really a good thing for somebody who's ever resonating with this. It seems like you're doing better off without this person. You know, or this situation, whatever it is. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, this could have been some. This could have been a Taurus or somebody that had Taurus in their chart. But this could be, you know, um, it could have been a wife for some of you. This could be somebody having a baby, or maybe you're going to find out somebody's having a baby now. But also, this could be somebody who's very controlling, right? Because, you know, she's all four queens in one. She rules the world. So, a male or female, this could have been somebody who's a little too bossy, maybe. I think they were larger and in charge of everything. You have uh, the moon. So, there are secrets coming out, things you don't know. I mean, you got it over here where there's still things that you don't know, but you might be finding out some things right now. There's still some more that you don't know. It could have something to do with your finances here. Look, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody could be, you know, doing some fugazi crap with your money. Boy, is that a painful ending. Especially if they took your money. You've got the Ten of Swords here. So, you know, yeah, that's not good. Ten of Swords is painful ending. It's destruction. It's, you know, burdens. It's chaos. It's crying. It's departure. It's uh, emotional pain. So now you got three of pentacles. Well, you know, you and somebody else or some other people may have some kind of goals. Uh, maybe some collaboration. Maybe it's apprenticeship. It's learning how to do things new. Maybe even work with other people, right? Uh, what happened to my, oh my God, my binaural beats. Hold on a second, guys. We cannot live without that. That's not going to work. Right? We have to keep our zen at all times. Now, there's, there's going to be fairness and balance brought into a situation where you were hurt. And maybe by working with these other people, that's how it's going to happen. You know, like that's going to bring the fairness and the balance in. This is now Libra energy. You do also have a Queen of Wands involved in here. Aries, usually. But Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So somebody who's, you know, it could be you too, right? Fire. Somebody who's strong. Somebody who's a leader. Somebody who's brave, articulate. Uh, you know, self-confident, vibrant, optimistic. Not afraid to go out and get what they want. And what... I'll tell you one thing, they won't take no shit from anybody. No, they won't, Sagittarius. They won't. You can push them so far and then watch it. You better run for your life. There's an ending of a situation to this, okay? And that might be the fairness and the balance. Whatever's coming to an end here, this is going to bring fairness and balance into your life. All right? So it doesn't necessarily have to be a death like where somebody's passing away. And if somebody does, Delilah and I send you our deepest condolences and hugs. We really, really do. But it's more like something, you know, one door closes, another door opens. Let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me one more on the death, and then we'll move down to the six of swords. One more on the death, and we'll move down to the six of swords. I am so tired, I could, I could hardly even talk at this point. I'm just doing fire signs tonight. Temper your emotions, whatever this is. Okay, whatever this ending is, it's, if it's a surprise, a shock, whatever. Don't lose your, don't lose your cool. Temperance is my card of self-control, or one of them. You know, it's about having inner zen and calm and tranquility. It's not letting people antagonize you and, you know, bring you into their drama, which is not something you look like you want to be doing over here. You look like you want to, yeah, you're looking to get away to wherever it's calm and quiet and not have to get your balls busted, right? Let's be real about this. Um, 
Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you want to be successful over here. You know, the Six of Pentacles talks about uh, stability, attention, and prosperity. And that's success to a lot of people. So you're, that's where you're moving away to. You're moving away to find some, uh, yeah, some harmony, some stability, some, you know, some zen, some calm, some none of this. Take that leap of faith and go for it. Because there's still things you don't know yet. Show me. Show me. Show me what else. Come on, for Sagittarius. Here we go. This one wants to come out. Look, you got a King of Pentacles waiting for you over there. All right. What are you doing? Get your ass over there. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This is one of the best kings in, that you could possibly have because they're kind. They're generous. They're very intelligent. They're financially stable. They're hardworking. They're generous. They're reliable. They're responsible. They're grounded. All right. The King of Pentacles is the last king in the world that would cheat on you. All right. Really. So, you know what I'm saying here? You also have the magician. So somebody could have Gemini in their charts. Uh, you could have You could have manifested this. Uh, the magician is the master manipulator. No matter what they have in front of them, they make it work to the best of their benefits. So this could be something that you manifested, money, right? Working hard on your money. Or this could be, you know, some kind of king of pentacles that was manifesting you. Maybe they had their eye on you. Oh, I'm hearing that song. I got my eye on you. You are everything that I need. And I don't even know that song. I mean, that's something that the kids listen to. Okay, five of swords, again. Oh, my own. The Five of Swords talks, again, about some kind of aggression, you know, some kind of uh, a jealousy. The Five of Swords talks about, uh, you know, having to defend yourself against arguments, tensions, aggressions. Yeah, if somebody sees you with a King of Pentacles all happy over here, it's like you manifested, that you worked hard, and they're, and you, they're not making you lose control, so they have no idea what you're thinking. That's even driving them crazy. They, they have a lot of tension towards you. Could also be a card of defeat. Maybe you're going to claim defeat, or they're going to claim defeat, just to stop, just to stop fighting. Who wants to spend their whole life in all that kind of tension and aggravation? Life's too short. Nobody's got time for that. Show me cards for this. We're going to get done quick here tonight, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so tired. Usually, you know, I go into the whole thing. I can make it like an hour long, but not tonight. I don't have it in me. Seven and one. Just keep standing your ground. Yeah, stand your ground. Uh, that's protecting yourself, protecting what you have. You know, it may be wearing you out. You may be a little tired trying to do this. You're the nine of wands. You are, you know, the wounded warrior. But it's perseverance and it's strength. So, you know, God bless you. I'm proud of you. Look, you're, you're tired as all hell and you're still standing your ground against whatever aggression this is. God bless you. I wish you were on my side in the fight. Yeah. You're a good per person to have on, on their side, I'm telling you. Yes, yeah, Sagittarius. I'm telling you. Now, six of swords again. So again, with the Six of Swords, like I said, sorrow and transition. Getting out of Dodge. Isn't this the second time we had this? Yeah, we did. We had it over here someplace, right? Look, over here. Six of Swords, Six of Swords. Choosing to move away from the aggravation and the conflict. Because there is no price on peace, right? And, and tranquility. You can have a bazillion dollars. Somebody wants to come and aggravate you. All the, it's not going to mean nothing. So it's better to move over to some place where it's calmer and peaceful. Even if it, you know, if, even if it makes you a little sad, believe me, you'll get over it. You'll get over it. Once you're in this place of Zen and tranquility and Shangri-La and all that, you know, happy stuff, it's worth it. Show me the Six of Swords. It came out twice. You really need to move over to calmer waters someplace and not in, indulge in this low vibrating reptilian frequency crap. You got a Nine of Pentacles around. I mean, a Knight of Pentacles. So this could be you starting some kind of new financial endeavor or a new job. Well, like I said, a reliable earth sign, maybe a little bit younger, who is working very hard, very reliable. They're sturdy. See their horse, their feet are all on the ground. They're solid. It's a slow-moving energy, and, and they're working hard. They're reliable. They're paying attention to what they're doing because they want to be the king of pentacles one day. So they have a goal, okay? They're just not flying by the seat of the pants, you know, chasing after their wand for some temporary instantaneous self-gratification. Feel me? Yeah, I know you do. So here we go. Let's see what this one's doing now. I'm sorry the cards are a little messy tonight. I cannot even explain to you the level of exhaustion. I mean, if you can't hear it in my voice, I'm starting to sound like a... Once I really start sounding like a man, we're in trouble. This is going to be the last reading I'm doing tonight. I'm only going to put the fire signs up. I'll try to get up extra early tomorrow before work and get maybe the water signs up next. You got a four of pentacles. Hold back. Just hold back. Don't not. Don't not. Listen to me. Boy, am I tired. Maybe I want a donut. I don't know. Maybe some of you are eating donuts. <laughs> I don't know, but listen, here it is. The Four of Pentacles is holding on tightly, holding back. 
See this person? They have their pentacles. They're holding them as tight as they possibly could. Not only their monetary and their material and their financial wealth, but their words, their thoughts, their actions, and they're closing off their heart. So nobody knows what's going on because they're holding back everything. That's what you should be doing. Don't let nobody know nothing. Really, don't let nobody know nothing. You can't trust anybody nowadays. You even got to look at your relative side eyes sometimes. Seriously, Sagittarius. I'm sorry to say, but you got three of ones. So they say this is the crossroads card. Oh, I'm at crossroads. But really, you're not. Because you're standing there, and you're not standing at crossroads. You're looking to see, you know, the ships already are arriving. You see the ship here? The thing is, is that it's a card of self-discovery. Because if you don't discover yourself and know who and what you are, then when those ships, the other two are, believe me, they're probably right over here. You just don't see them. How do you know what freaking ship you want to get on? Maybe one of them's going to the equator. One of them's going to Alaska. One of them's going to the Bahamas. Now, now I'm not saying you can't get on every ship, but maybe you want to go to the Bahamas first. And you wind up going on the ship to Alaska and freezing your balls. So if you don't know who you are and where you are and what you want in life, you're not going to know what ship you want to get on. And please, for the love of God, when you do get on the ship that you, that you pick, Find out where it's going so you're making sure you're getting where you want to be. Please and thank you, okay? Because we want to see everybody happy here. One more on this. One more on this, okay? Yeah, you got a King of Wands in reverse. See, that's the ship you don't want to get on. You don't want to get on a, on, 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 a, on a ship that has a King of Wands in reverse on it because this is one no good son of a bitch, all right? What a... Uh, you know, I mean, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody who commits infidelity. They're jealous, they're deceitful, they're cold. They're mean, all right? This is the narcissist. And I mean the king narcissist. So, you know, particularly mean. So you don't want to be on a ship with somebody that's cruel and gets a jolly out of it. Like, what, like makes you cry and then laughs about it because they, they had that power over you. What kind of a no good son of a bitch is that? You know, I'll tell you what kind. It's the kind that'll put these five of swords in your, in your damn back. So let's just get one on this five of swords and be done with this. Be careful of the choices you make. All right? Just be very careful. Don't let nobody manipulate you. You are you are the wounded warrior. And boy, oh boy, you persevere. I'm so proud of you. You do got justice coming in, though. Especially if this, this you deserve it after that ten of swords. Nobody does. The tower's coming in. But it's coming in reverse. All right, so there's, you know, you could be resisting change, averting disaster, avoiding a tragedy, but all you're doing is delaying the inevitable. So if you've got to kick somebody's ass to the curb, do it, get it over with, really. And at the bottom of the deck, so, you know, you've got a fire under your ass here. Ace of Wands is a fire under your ass. This is something that you find very passionate that is going to be successful for you, okay? So this is how we're doing this tonight. We're only going to get a couple of kippers, and then we're going to get a couple of beautiful oracle cards from this Angel's Gate oracle that, uh, that a friend of mine worked on for a very long time, very diligently, put all her love and, and, and heart into it. The artwork is beautiful. The sayings are amazing. And uh, this is the Oracle deck we're going to be working with for a while to uplift everybody. I am so, so grateful to have gotten this Oracle deck today that I've been in tears all day. I, I'm going to cry right now. I've been in tears all day for it. So thank you again, Laura. Thank you. Really. All right, let's see if we get some... Uh, uh, Let's see if we get some, what am I looking for over here? Oh, I'm so tired, I don't even know what I'm doing. 12, there's a privileged lady involved, so 12 or 3. You also have 21 or 3. There could be some kind of family room. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Look, I just pulled the emperor. Okay, so there could be an Aries involved. I don't know what kind of family room this is, but it's the last family. This does not look like a family. Where's the family? Where's the pillows and the, and the blankets all over the floor? Where are the pets? Where are the snacks? Where's the big screen TV? Where's the comfortable couch? This is the worst family room I've ever seen in my life. So this is a family that's not very close. And if they do communicate, it's probably only through text. If they ever even see each other. So this is a very cold place to me. This is not a family I would want to be in. It's a cold, cold family. And everybody reads their tarot different. This is, this is what, okay? There's a wealthy man involved in this. Yeah, he probably lives in this horrible family room that nobody's in. 13 or 4. So you got uh, 3, 3, and 3 so far. That could be numerology. You could go put it into Google if you're interested in the numerology. You know, it's, it's, per you know, it's a personal thing. Some of us are, some of us aren't. I do believe in synchronicities and numbers, things like that. 
You got 25 or 7. Somebody could be held in eye on her. Doesn't mean they're in the military of the law. It could just mean that they, somebody has respect for somebody. Oh, here, you got 33 again. So somebody's concerned. So much so that they're turning white. So now you got 3, 3, 3, 3. There's threes all over this and another 3. So at least put 3, 3, 3, 3 in because you got 3, 3, 3, 3. See, if you get an angel code or some kind of message from your angel guides, uh, somebody's renting space in somebody's head, but it's free parking because nobody's paying any rent, okay? So free parking on Monopoly, 16 or 7. You know, don't let anybody do that. Take up all that space in your head. And uh, for what? It's not getting you anywhere. Uh, it could be putting you in a poverty mindset, though. You know, missing somebody. But this is poverty. It doesn't have to be that you're homeless or you're hungry. It just could mean that, you know, you're mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, you know, poverty. 37 or 10. Now, let's please, let's do these beautiful Angel Gate Oracles, okay? So for Sagittarius, please and thank you. Yeah, I please have Angel Gate Oracles for Sagittarius. They're their highest good. I mean, I, I encourage everybody to get exactly these cards. Just contact me and I'll hook you up with the person and you guys can work it out yourself. Um, yeah, so the first one that came out is 41.5. When you believe you can, you will give yourself permission to fly. Well, isn't that the truth? I mean, think about that a minute. That's very profound. If you don't believe in yourself, who's going to do it? Don't listen to anybody else. Listen to your own inner guidance. Okay, here. May I have more for Sagittarius? Wow, I love these cards. I can't tell you how much I love these cards. Look how beautiful this card is. Number 11 or 2. You are a beacon in the night. Your light helps others find their way. Know how important your shine is. Well, that's, that's, I mean, you know, the, the sayings in these can't be more true. Really, really. The thoughtfulness that was put into these, this wording. I, I just, I can't say enough. And I'm no kind of salesperson. So for me to be telling you this, to try, you know, and I'm no teacher either. So for me to be trying to teach a te tarot to the best that I can, so that at least you get some kind of a basic understanding of it, really says a lot, you know? If I could do it, anybody could do it, I'm telling you. You could do anything anybody else could do if you just put your mind to it. Now, you got number 17 or 8. Look at that butterfly, how beautiful. Be willing to change to become who you are meant to be, okay? And what I can tell you about this card, which means to me, you could have the best well-laid-out plans in life, and believe me, I, I could tell you this out of experience. I did. But life has its own plans for you. So the only thing you could do is strap into the roller coaster and, and enjoy the ride. So again, be willing to change to become who you are meant to be. Not who you, you know, who you think you are, who you were meant to be. All right? Now you're number 23 or 5. The magic of your journey is in the discovery, not at a destination. Live every moment. Absolutely. 42 or 6. Angel conversationalists. This is who you are. The world needs to hear your voice. Do you see the artwork on these? Are you hearing these messages? Sagittarius, are you listening to me? Listen to me. 28 or 10. Look at that. Act within the face of fear. Courage will guide you to diminish the shadows. Well, that's the damn truth. I tell you that all the time. Fear, the analogy. Face everything and run or face everything and rise. Face it and you will not fear it anymore. Oh my God, Laura, what cards? I can't even tell you. I'm, I'm, oh, I just can't even express the opinions of others are not your facts. Remain true to who you are, number 26 or 8. So there it is. I'm not throwing down letters. I'm not throwing down, uh, you know, angel oracles or anything like that. Um, like I said, if you want this absolutely sublime deck, just hit me up and uh, I'll make sure it happens for you, okay? Thank you so much again for hitting the like and subscribe, by the way, guys. It's like, it's really, it's just so, so important. And Delilah and I thank you so much. And until tomorrow, always leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. And trust in God because karma is real. And we love you. Good night.